Hello there, my friends. It's Jen Petta with By the Shore Stamping. I'm a little bit late with this week's Teach Me Tuesday video. Um, I kind of took last week off and sort of extended that into the early part of this week, so we're doing Teach Me Thursday today. But I wanted to definitely come to you with a video this week because I have an amazing special to share with you. So as many of you know, the new catalog for Stampin' Up! is coming out June 1st, so just a few weeks, which is super exciting. Um, they also released some discounts on the retiring products uh, two days ago, so be sure to check out the store. The uh, Go to www.genpitta.com. Uh, stampinup.net and I'll leave the link of that in the description of this video for you. Um, but I wanted to share you a pre-order item, kind of an early release is what they're calling it, for you as a customer. We have a brand new suite in the new catalog that's called Share What You Love and it's celebrating Stampin' Up's 30th anniversary. And for the month of May only, they are offering a couple of bundles that you can buy these products in advance of the new catalog, and you can buy them in bundles instead of individually. These won't be available as indiv um, as bundles in the new catalog. They'll only be available individually in the new catalog. So I thought I would share those with you today so you can take advantage of them if you want, because I will tell you that the stamp set and the paper and everything that goes with this suite is amazing. So I think you will love it. So the first little bandle, bundle, let me first show you the stamp set. So this is the stamp set. It's called Love What You Do. And it's got some great sentiments for you, um, the flowers and the layering. It's two-step. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm going to show you some cards with this in a second. Um, in addition, so this was beef item number one in bundle number one. So this is called the Getting Started Bundle. So you'd get the stamp set. You'd get a pack of very vanilla cardstock. You'd get the brand new color Grapefruit Grove. And this is our new style ink pad. What do you think of that? Pretty nice, right? You get a nice large swatch of the color right on top. And these are compact styles. So instead of the push, when you push away and pull it towards you, this you just open just like a compact. So open, close. So that's one of the new in colors. So you would get that color. You'd also get old olive, but in the new style ink pad, you'd get an E block. And then with this bundle, so this is what you would get, you would receive a package of very vanilla envelopes for free. So that's bundle number one. And again, these are only available as bundles um, in May. So be sure to do that quickly if that interests you. And that bundle is $57 and you get those envelopes for free. So bundle number two is called A Little More Please, and that one has, again, the stamp set. It has the very vanilla cardstock. It has the Grapefruit Grove um, ink pad. Um, you still get the very vanilla envelopes for free, but now we're also adding in this stamp set, which is Make a Difference. It's a great alphabet set. You can use it to make any number of sayings. There's multiples of the letters in there, so you can do um, different sayings and whatnot. So that is really fun for sentiments. It's fun for scrapbooking, so that's a great addition to this bundle. You also would receive the Share What You Love cardstock pack. Now, this one really isn't the Share What You Love cardstock pack because I used it all, so you'll see um, it's three coordinating colors, four coordinating colors, actually, that go with the paper. Um, also, for this bundle, you'd receive the new pearlized doilies, and because it's the 30th um, birthday, 30th anniversary rather, we are celebrating with pearl because that's your 30th anniversary um, tradition is pearl, something pearl. So you get those in addition to that. You also get this really fun velvet ribbon, so that's really pretty. Included as well is the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. These are beautiful. And then you'd get the envelopes for free, like I mentioned. And then in this bundle, you also get this really cute embellishment kit for free. This is an $11 value. You get it for free. Um, I believe it's $11 generally. And um, you would get this for free, and the envelopes are $6.50. Um, it has the Statement of the Heart on the front, which would make a really cute little box or keepsake box for a graduate this year or something um, new new endeavor come some sort would be great so in the embellishment kit it's a really nice sturdy box you get these little trinkets which are little mini paper clips and some self-adhesive little rose icons you also get two different types of twine and then you get um, eight each of two different sized tags that you can use on projects and I'll show you some um, projects with that in a second 
So that's bundle number two. That one is the a little more please bundle. You get two free items and that one is $91.50. And then the final bundle is the I want it all or gotta have it all bundle, which is always the one I want, right? Is um, the love what you do stamp set, the make a difference stamp set. You get the very vanilla cardstock again. You get the share what you love cardstock pack. You get the doilies. You get the Grapefruit Grove ink pad. You get the lovely velvet ribbon. You receive also the um, artisan um, pearls. You also, in this one, get the gorgeous paper. So let me just move this stuff out of the way so you can see. So in this one as well is the beautiful paper. So this is the Share What You Love paper. And because, again, we're celebrating the 30th anniversary, um, some of this paper is actually pearlized. So you get some really cool sheen on those. This paper is gorgeous, and we're going to use that in a second. So I'm not going to go too much into that. But that's also part of this bundle. You also get a embossing folder. This is one of the 3D Dynamic Textured Impressions embossing folders. So that one's beautiful. It goes along with the paper. And then you get three free items in this kit. So you get the Very Vanilla Envelopes, again, as free. You also get the Embellishment Kit for free. And in this one, you get an exclusive stamp set here, the Statement of a Heart stamp set, to love what we do and share what we love as we help others and enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments in this we make a difference i think this would be a really great thing for graduates as well like you could do a cute little gift tag or little bags just kind of showing them that to follow their passions and to do what makes them happy and that they love to do and that by doing just doing that they'll be able to make a difference in the world so this is the statement of the heart for stamping up but i think it's really um, a great sentiment and would work nicely. So you get this for free as well in that third bundle, which is $127.50. So three items free in the in the top bundle, two items free in the middle bundle, and one item for free in the um, bottom bundle. And those are um, only available in May, as I said. So um, you'll definitely want to take advantage of that in May. You can order all of these items individually beginning in June, but... Um, to take advantage of the freebie items you want to order in May. So let's go ahead and show you some um, great uses for this paper. So my friend Rhonda Wade made some amazing cards with this paper. And like she said, a lot of times sometimes I'll find a, a pattern paper that I like, but I don't necessarily like both sides. And pretty much all of the paper in this kit I like all of it. So um, I wanted to, she showed a way to showcase all of it, and I thought it was so clever. So these are my cards, but her concept for the cards. So you'll see that we can actually see the inside and the outside of the card. So this is the one I'm going to show you, but or the inside and the outside of the paper. And then look, inside you get the surprise of the pretty paper inside as well. So you get the paper outside, and then when you open up, you get the paper inside too. And so I used mostly stuff out of the bundle, but I wanted to quickly show you how I made the card, and then I'll show you five other versions using the same paper. So you get to use all of the pieces of paper, and so you'll see all sides of it. This is a double pack of paper. There's 24 sheets in the the package. So we're going to cut a basic card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, and then you'll fold that in half. Okay, and so I'm just going to go ahead and fold that. All right, so now this is my basic card base. I'm going to put it into my cutter, and I'm going to actually put it in this way, and I'm going to cut at five and a half. So um, the basic card front is four and a quarter, and I want just an inch of the folded part of the card to show. So this is just an inch. So I'm gonna cut it at um, five and a quarter because this is four and a quarter. So I want another inch, which would make it five and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut that. And now you can see that I have just one little inch after the fold. So now there's my card base, okay? So we added a little bit of, um, in this one, black to this to just kind of make the pattern paper pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and add tape to here. And then I used my grid paper, actually, this lower corner, and I put it in the corner. And then I just took this piece 
and I lined it up with an inch and a half. So I lined that edge up with an inch and a half and then just folded it over so that it would just be lined up nicely. So there I have the start of my little card, okay? Now we're gonna do the pattern paper and I wanted this one to show on the outside. Um, I'm just looking to see if maybe I want to change it for this one. In this version, I did this. But maybe I'm going to switch it up this time just to, to be a little different. And because, like I said, I love all of this paper. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of tape here. I'm also going to do a little bit of tape here. Now with this one, we want to make sure that everything lines up with the edge so the card will line up properly. So I'm going to line up the edge of this with the edge of my base. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tie that or seal that shut. So now I have my cute little card base. I don't know why these remind me of little books. Like I think they might be cute to kind of put some um, copy paper or something in there and make like a cute little book. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so next up we're going to take some black twine. And you could use some of the twine that was in um, the little embellishment kit or you could even use, I wonder... The, um, I don't know where it went. How, do, how is it that things disappear so quickly when you're, you literally have like two feet in front of you? I don't know where it went. Um, I'm using basic black baker's twine, but I was looking for the velvet ribbon that I just had. And I have no idea where it went. I don't understand how things can disappear when I haven't moved. Does that happen to you? Hopefully it's not just me. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and just use this because it's handy. And I like the little pop of the black here. And I'm going to go ahead and tie a little bow about halfway down, like so. I find usually with the baker's twine, it's easier to tie a knot first before you try and tie the bow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to just fix this little guy, and then we can tie a little bow. And then I'm going to use the Share What You Love stamp set, which is beautiful. And we'll make a um, little stamped piece here. So let me go ahead and cut this. And we'll cut the frayed side of that off. So there's my little bow. Okay, now on a scrap piece of paper, I'm going to take my Memento Black ink. And I'm going to take my stamp set. And this one I'm using It's a Beautiful Day, which I think you could... Whoops, it's already out which you could use for a variety of occasions, from birthday to graduation to just congratulations, whatever um, you need it for. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. And then we're going to use a punch to punch that out. So I'm going to use the two-inch circle punch with this. Maybe get in there. Okay, and it is going to cut off just a tiny bit of that. I am going to trim it a little bit just to make sure I get as close as I can to that. Okay, and then we'll cut that. Put that in here. It's going to cut off a little bit of the L and the B, which is fine. Then, of course, because I think if you've been standing with me for any amount of time, you must have crumb cake by now. I'm going to go ahead and take my crumb cake ink and my sponge if I can find it. Oh my gosh, this desk is crazy messy. I have no idea where that went and I just had it. Let's see if this one's brown, kinda. I'm gonna use this one. All right, we'll use this and I'm just gonna ink the edges. Okay. Add a little bit of something to that. All right, and then I have a little strip of crumb cake just to tie in that color. I'm going to go ahead and do a little banner on one end. And I'm going to have that kind of stick out from underneath the circle. I don't know if I cut this too long or not, but I think that's good. So I'm just going to put the tape right on here so I can make sure I get it straight. That looks good. All right, then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back. 
and go ahead and do that and then we'll cut this use these two little pieces since they're here and I swear I let my customers use full dimensionals and not just the edges I just leave all the edges for myself that's why I'm always using them in my videos is because I give myself my leftover pieces so then we're gonna stick that right here now this looks a little wonky so I'm gonna kind of move it all right and we'll tape that down all right then I had a little circle of the new grapefruit grove and I used my bone folder to kind of loosen this up a little bit so I'm just gonna run the bone folder over it like I'm kind of peeling a potato here and then I took my scissors and just roughed up the edges a little bit with the edge of my scissors if you had a distressing tool you could do that too um, but I'm just using the edge of my scissors, kind of bend it up, crumple it up a little bit. You could actually fully crumple this too, which would be fun too. I'm going to distress it and then maybe I'll do that. That kind of always gives my students in class a heart attack when I do that. They're all gasping, but I kind of like the look, so let's do it. So I'm going to go ahead, now that I crumpled that up, I mean I roughed up the edges, I'm going to actually literally crumple this up, so I'm going to go ahead and roll it into a little ball here and then I'm going to go ahead and open that back up and you just get kind of a fun distressed look I'm going to add a little bit of tape to that because it is distressed you'll probably need a little bit more tape than normal just to make sure it doesn't and I'm going to add a little dimensional under there just to keep it lifted I'll stick that right under there, peel off that backing, and that will keep it even and keep it from sagging down. Then we're going to take our little embellishment box, and in here I have those cute little roses, and I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those so that you, whoops, it's self-adhesive. How cool is that? So I'm just going to peel off the backing. And I'm going to plop that kind of in the center of my circle. Maybe. There we go. Okay, perfect. So there you have a finished card, and it shows both sides of the paper. So it's kind of fun. And I would probably put like a white square in here and maybe stamp that a little bit just to kind of dress it up. But it's a really pretty card. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the different cards that I made using the same technique. So you could make a really cute um, set of cards as a gift or um, just for your own use. You could bang these out pretty quickly. So this is the one I had made in advance and then I just did the opposite version. So this is the inside of that one. And then that's the inside of that one, so they're just reversed. So you could make two of each of these with the two separate designs on the front. This is another one. So that one uses another really pretty paper. This paper, I'm telling you, is gorgeous. Oh, and here, you want to see the inside of that one so you can see both sides. There's just a stripe inside. And again, I'd probably put a white square on the right and just kind of dress that up a little bit. Here's another one. This is a thank you card. And I'm using the embellish the the tags from the embellishment kit and the cute little paper clip and then that's the inside I love this writing design too it was really fun so there's that one and we have this one the love what you do again I used the tag from the embellishment kit I used some of the artisan pearls and the black ribbon and then here's the inside and then here's another one. So this one I fussy cut the flowers from the paper. I used the embellishment and the pearls in this one and the tag. And then inside is that. So pretty. And then the last one I have here is Crumb Cake Base. And it has the little tag that I just tied on. I used the ribbon from the embellishment kit. I did um, tack that down with a dimensional. And then inside you have that pretty um, uh, pearlized paper in the middle. So there you have it. Six. Actually, there's more than that now because I made more. So you have seven beautiful cards all with the same paper. So this paper is, I'm telling you, it's stunning. So you'll definitely want to get some for yourself. And like I said, if you do that now in May, you can use the um, pre-order bundles, which are only available in May. 
they will be individually allowed in the new catalog, but we won't have like the bundles where you get the free goodies with each one. So there's the three levels for these right now. And you can see more on my website at jenpitta.stampinup.net. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jenpitta at comcast.net, and I would be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you'll catch me next week for another edition of Teach Me Tuesday. Have a great week, and we'll see you soon. Bye!